Are you taking into account all the different ways that people come and buy from you? I've created a little flow chart that shows you four of the key ways people take to come to me. Now, there are many, many ways that people come to become a client, but these are the four core ones that I notice all the time. So measure all of these and I choose which one of these is the best one for me to invest my time in. Number one, they've been referred to me. So that's using my networks, people who've worked with me in the past, who love me and think I'm awesome, or even people who haven't worked with me in the past, but like me, they will refer them. And then those people contact, we have a meeting, and then it's a sale. I get high conversion rates with those because basically those are just mine to lose, right? Number two, I have a podcast. So it tends to go podcast. I ask them on the podcast to join my Facebook group, Mapit Marketing. They come in there, they join my email list and get my emails. And then over a period of time, they decide to work with me. Sometimes it's straight away. Sometimes it's three to four years and they become my customers. So they become a contact and then they become a client. The third way is a Google. So I might have um, SEO on my websites. Around 30% of our traffic comes this way. They get to my website and they'll either make contact and we'll have a time and then it's a sale or they might download my lead generation, get all my emails over a period of time again, get in contact, and then it becomes a sale. And the fourth one, sometimes they spend a lot of time watching and consuming content hmm, like this, and then they'll either contact me, and then it's a sale, start to follow me everywhere, watch for a long time, get into contact, and then make a sale, or sometimes they watch, consume, buy a book, or buy one of my lower level, cheaper courses, then they get emails from me, then they get into contact, and then they sell. At the moment, these are all pretty equal for me. There's lots of different ways there. Don't limit yourself to one customer journey path. Have a think about how people are coming to you. Make a list, make a little flow chart like this, and help yourself work out where you're going to put your marketing.